Welcome to Uncle Sam and Sons. And my reason for saying welcome to Uncle Sam and Sons, my right name is Michael Pierre. This Uncle Sam name will have come from a nickname that when I had 11 years going to school, I would have get the name Sam. And when I was around 21, between 21 and 22, I would have start off where I would have rent a bar from a guy that they called Supin Chow. And there's a good friend of mine who ashes bacon shark on the beach, which is Tulsi, my good friend. We all is like that together. He asked me, say, Sam, what name to put on this place? And whilst we there upon then, he said, what about Uncle Sam? And I said, go ahead. Now today I'm 64. So I spent about 42 years back. This is how I get that name, Uncle Sam. So my first salary, which was $280, I would have been a lifeguard. That is where I started this business. But before this business, my mother is a pioneer. She's the first one, just as how somebody started doubles in Trinidad, she was the first one started the bacon shark industry in Marathas Bay. And the story would have gone like this where people never see shark. It's true with the shark. And what my mother said was she's still alive, she's 90 now. What she said to us around that time when the fishermen threw away the shark. She used to go and take up the shark and cook it for us. And while she was selling it on the beach, she started to clean it and she started to introduce it to the drivers. And now she introduced it to the drivers and the tourists. This is how the bacon shark developed in Marcus, this industry. And what she also mentioned to me, those days it used to be hops and shark. It wasn't baked before, it was hops and shark. And then she started with this fry bake and then she called it float and shark. Now most people today may wonder why they call it float and shark. It's because when they put the bacon into the pot, it float up. So that is how the first original name was float from the hops and shark. That is how it get float and shark. And she started this. And what she mentioned to me, the first bacon shark in those days where she would have started selling was six cents. Now I don't think people know the first bacon shark is six cents. All the other people that would have come after all you could say today, my competitors, She's the one that started showing them how to make the bacon shark. At the age of 22 now, when I first joined the lifeguard, and my first salary, she would have passed on the ingredients and different things to me, or to really start making the bacon shark. So that is where I know it's developed from there now, to where it reached. However, it's not just I alone, but I will say my wife, which you're going to see in a short while. So we are the one that started the, the bacon shark. I am Auntie Sam, owner of Uncle Sam and Sons. I have three children and we run this business as a company. We have almost about 40 to 50 staff. Over the years, we started in 82, doing bacon shark and a lot of other things and pulori. And this is where we are here now. Yes, well, this is a um, Mako shark. Mako yeah. shark? Yeah, Mako, Mako, the water shark. The big ones we get, they cut it in two. This size, I take it like this. Wow. Because sometimes it come long like this. And there's a shark, no matter how big it is, it always stays soft and nice. Right. Have a bone, I'll take the bone off. Out. For all the years, my husband lifeguard and I started a little business. And we just continue to go with it. My mom had a business years ago. I was just a small child in 82, long years, and, and she had a friend started bacon shark, that's my husband's mom. So I grew up into this. So when I come with my husband, I already had known to make all these things from home. My fa father family really from um, Sawa, my mom family from Santa Cruz. But over the years they meet and they being friends now, you know, because I was home in my parents' business and by he visiting the parlor, the shop, I met him and I really know I was kind of a shy couple and by he persistence coming you know and we got married in um I had had my children already, my three children. Matthew, Mark and Martha, but we, Emily we call her. Emily in the second boat down on the beach and Mark in the one, the first one you're coming in. So one is Uncle Sam and the next one is Beach Deck. And then my son here, but everybody come into the business. No matter what we do, everything comes in this basket and we distribute, purchase everything. Well, actually, it's them taking over, you know, I just, <laughs> it's them, it will be them own. All of them went to college. We send them off to school, send them off to college, and they come back now in the business. 
But I must also say, when I started it at the two hundred and eighty dollars, where I started off this little business, maybe eight by ten, or maybe not even could be eight by eight. This is where I started that little hut, and then we start off start to sell different things, which I will have had small shop parlor before, and I used to pay fifteen hundred just to go into the pets like army pets and all the different pets for our pet, and sell bacon shop for ten dollars. But at that time I was doing it, it was not about making any money, but it's, in other words then, it's like spreading my name, create a, a product. In those days, bacon shark, it used to be, when you buy a bacon shark, it's like doubles. You know, you get this brown paper, they put it in this little brown paper and thing, that is how we sell bacon shark. And then one day, you know, I either come to me, the hamburger box, where they used to put the hamburger, and that is where now I would have went to print a pack and tell them I want to, do the bacon shark in that box and I will print my own box. So like when I buy like a 1500 from Wednesday, by Monday ready for to purchase again. When busy time, like 3000 for the weekend, or during the week it's a little slow. There's green seeds, then they have garlic, shadow benny, ginger and pepper. Uh, you'll grind this here? Yes, I make this fresh seasoning, black pepper, Based on the amount of shark, so I just put in just enough for it. Lemon, lemon is, I find lemon does give the shark a nice taste and a fresher taste. So when I get lemon, I'll use most time, I use lime or lemon. This is our seasoning that we put together and they package it. It's a powder, it have everything in it, salt and everything. That's a mix you Yeah, there's, there's a mix that Uncle Sam created over the years, we did that. So I just put in enough for the shark that I have there. Normally the bucket of shark will take this, the pigtail bucket, just take this whole one. I'm going to stir this a little bit. To kind of lighten up the seasoning. Put the shark in it now. Just get it into the seasoning. This is the original seasoning. We season, we don't change it. This is it. Every day I season fish. So this is going to cover. Now I must also say that I further extend, being a pioneer, that we also have two other places on the beach, as you could see, because you know I realize just doing it here is, is just not enough. And as time goes on, this is where now at this stage of my life, now I get my children involved, and they are the ones that carry on this industry as they see from today. So my name is Matthew Pierre. Um, I'm the, what, what we refer to as the second command here in the family business. So when you come to Maracas now, when you get your bacon shark, um, as you can see, we are the cocktail bar, right? Cocktails are now an option. Um, we have expanded the menu to include the shrimp, the butterfish, the wings, the kingfish, the fries, the wontons, all right? And it continues to build. And with everything that we do, we add our unique touch to it. You understand? To make it the Uncle Sam touch. Part of that experience, well, is the environment, you know, the atmosphere, and we're keeping it local. So when you come by Uncle Sam, now you're going to see steel pan being played. So it might be the only place in Trinidad, on the beach, where 365 days a year you're going to get the national instrument being played. Because it's part of the experience, all right? That's what makes us different, because we're selling experience. Our strong support comes from the community. This is where I born and grew. This is where I grew up. This is what I know. And the community has a, has, has a big part to play with it. 99% um, of our staff, human resources, come from within the community. So they come from within the community, they help us build, we have to help them build and we have to reinvest in our community to make sure that we have longevity down the road. You understand? What will be the new Maracas? What will be the modern Maracas? You know? And how are we going to contribute to that? How are we going to support that, our social responsibility in the community? Mother in law my husband, mom, well, since she started the bacon shack, she used to do roast bake roast and acro and whatever it is, yeah. And my mom, they was friends, so she used to do roti, and so they introduced that to my mother, and so they come and we, my family get into, involved in this. 19, how much? 52 or 50, whatever <laughs> age. Too long, too long to remember. Too long, yeah. I was a baby still when they started this. Right, so, we right, so while well, we're going and put normal, um, the ingredients, brown sugar, must use brown sugar, it just give the bake a nice taste, and a color, golden brown. Compared to the white. Yes, brown sugar, keep your, keep your bake brown and nice. 
put salt to taste. Little yeast. I said I put to raise it now. Okay. Bacon powder. Same recipe. But have the girls and who just need the flour, I show them everything and they just maintain that standard. Yeah, regular water. So mix it now. Always done from hand, by hand. Always, some day one. Like you're cooking home in your kitchen, everything is by hand. Yeah. So all your workers who make it, you would have taught them? Yes, and they work, in, they work, some of them are working other pl business places like Richards and different, around the area now, and they just move out and one end up here. Most of them are senior. Yeah. So everybody have a little idea how it works now. But just I might do things a little different, so you know, I just show them my way, you know. Like today, Sunday, if it's busy, maybe about three, three or four of this bag, about three bags, 100 pounds. Yeah. Once it's busy, we'll need that, that amount. Must put a little oil to keep it soft, soft and moist and smooth. In terms of reaching us, um, we Facebook, Instagram, we have our website up as well. Um, go onto the website, you'll see the Uncle Sam app, download the app, um, launching in a few. So um, that's a new thing that come in. From your app, you can pre-order your bacon shark, pay for your bacon shark, and come straight on an online ordering line and collect your bacon shark. So you know, if you're rushing up to your guest house, say your beach house, your car wait in the lines, you know, you can order, order online and come and collect, right? So just download the app. Um, our contacts are out there. Our main contact is 344-3552. Call that number anytime. You're going to get us. You know, our website, UncleSamTT.com. Um, all the social media handles, we are there as well, UncleSamTT. And there you can find us 24.